Hello everyone, welcome back to Gajroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix EA Sports FC24 is having crashing issue, crashing at startup, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, stuck or loading screen, low FPS drop and even black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround one by one. So the game EA Sports FC24 is actually not released but it is uh, available right now in the Steam. So if you check you can see this. So I am having the uh, EA subscription so I can play the game for 10 hours. So that is why it is early access is given to the game. The game is supposed to be released on 29th September 2023 and I am having the EA pass so uh, EA play subscription so I can play the game right now. So many users are doing the same and they are having a lot of bugs so we are going to talk about how we can fix this app. The first one is all about we have to do a simple restart on your PC or laptop whatever you are using. So just go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go for a simple restart. After the simple restart, open the Steam once again, try to launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. This is what we have to do as the basic step. This did work it because you know doing a restart sometimes help you guys to fix the issue. So just do a simple restart. If it is not working do not get panicked we can move to the next step. Next step is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So right now we are launching the game from Steam. That is why we are having the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this we have uh, two method we have one uh, shortcut from the Steam. Another one you can using the file explorer, I will be showing you both. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties, install it file and just click on the browse. So that will redirect you to this particular folder. If you check at the top that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam apps common, EA sports FC24. So right now as you can see if you scroll down you will be able to find it. So this is FC24, this is the application, so we need to launch the game from here. So this is what we have to do. Instead of launching the game from the Steam, you need to launch the game from the installation folder. It will be working fine, so you have to try this out. Next one is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. I am showing you these steps because we are in the installation folder, so I am going to show you the same step over here. For uh, running the game as an administrator, select this one. Go to show more options and go to the properties, go to the compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. This is what we have to do. This did work it for many uses, we can try this out. If that is not working, we can move to the next one that is all about. We have to run the game in the compatibility mode. For this we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to show more options and we have to go to the properties compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode set this to windows 7 or you can try for windows 7 and go for apply or you can try this to change this to windows 8 and go for apply as well you can try either windows 7 or you can try with windows 8 as well you can try anyone and that will be working fine next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about if trying with these two steps if it's still it's not working we can try next one that is all about we have to Make sure the date, time and region should be correct. For this we just need to go over here in the search. Go for settings over here. Now from here we need to go to time and language. Go to the date and time. Make sure the time and date is correct and you have to click on sync now as well. And also you have to keep in mind this particular option that is called set time zone automatically should be turned on at any cost this should be turned on. And also along with this this has to be turned on as well. So we just need to go back and we just need to go over here in the language and region. Now from here as you can see you have to select the region. So if you are from United States you have to select United States. If you are from any other country select the country according to your geography. Once you cross check this go back try launching see whether the issue is working or not. Next step is all about we have to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard. So this did work it for few users as well so I am suggesting you can try even these steps as well. This you can also try. Next step is all about we need to make sure we need to delete the saved game file. For this we need to go over here in the file explorer. Now from here we need to go to this PC and go over here in the documents. Now navigate to the my games. Keep in mind right now as you can see you will be having the game. 
that is EAFC 24 will be available there so right now uh, when you started playing the game and saving each uh, progressions you will be having this so delete the respective folder from here keep in mind when you do this you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine just delete it once afterwards just close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to search for control panel go for system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to the game so hence it is an alphabet we can navigate to e you will be able to find it so if it's not there we can keep scrolling down and navigate to fc over there it, it will be there in f so just find it okay so uh, we need to find it so i'll be showing you that is fc24 so somewhere else this has to come so you'll be able to find it so uh, what we need to do is if you are not able to find the game do not worry i'll be adding adding it uh, by default so just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down navigate to steam go for steam apps go for common now from here we need to go over here select uh, ea sports fc24 now from here scroll down and navigate to this one and go for open and add it so once you add it you have to make sure the fc24 is added you have to make sure the both the private and public both has to be selected this was not selected by i did it by manually you have to make sure both the uh, private and public has to be selected once afterwards we just need to close this we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so as you can see we might be connected with a lot of things on the system we might be using controllers it might be already connected logitech wheels might be already connected we might be having you know uh, i have to say for example uh, uh, joystick etc or everything might be connected so that is even cause the issue up so we need to remove everything from the usb port i mean unplug everything from the usb devices once afterwards launch the game once the game is launched successfully and you're into the game you can even connect it back in order to continue playing the game with the controller as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go for a system configuration we need to go over here in the services we have to go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they're going to ask you for restart the users who are watching this you have to go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart and afterwards we just need to go back try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay for this we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties make sure this is turn it on if it is turn it on we have to turn this off try launch the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to give the commands in the launch option so go over here in the same right click go to the properties go over here and we have to give the commands so the first one is dx11 is the command we have to give try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game so you can either try with the dx11 or you can try with dx12 any one of the thing can be done but you can try launch the game as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, close all the overlay application so just go over here in the start right click and we have to go over here in the task manager now from here if you go over here you will be able to understood there are 50 background processes are running right now when i'm trying to launch the game so uh, what happens is when you're trying to launch the game if you're not having a good enough spec for as i'm concerned for my pc i'm having 32 gb of the ram so when I'm trying to launch in the game, it, it's not affecting me much. But those users who are having with 4 and 16, they will be definitely having the nightmare. So these things running in the background will be utilizing the performance and reducing, uh, bringing up a huge chance for the crashing. So remove the unwanted things. For example, you have to remove, you know, what I have to say is you have to remove uh, this one. That's called, you have to remove dis uh, Discord, Steam Overlay. And uh, it's not seem overly you have to remove discord reward tuner msa afterburner which comes to the category of overclocking application as well once afterwards we just need to close this we just need to go back try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card 
for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go for graphics settings search for the graphics settings now as you can see i have already added many games including lies of p and many things so same way we have to add the game just click on the browse go to this pc over here go to the local disk c go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam folder go to steam amps over here navigate to the common folder now from here if you scroll down and navigate to we can see that is uh, you know uh, sorry you have to skip scrolling down over here ea sports fc24 select this one and go over here in the fc24 and go for add so once you add the game so just go over here in the option make sure this is uh, under let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save this has to be in this close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search we have to go for view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go to the settings once again advanced tab once again go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed you have to go for custom size here we have to give the value that is initial size should be 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we need a calculator because we need to do a calculation so just get the calculator and type the ram that is 32 gb is the ram you have to multiply it with 1024 that is a constant value and this particular value should be multiplied with 1.5 so multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just copy this paste this value over here next one we have to type 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well now go for ok and everything should be selected once afterwards just go back try launching the game next one is all about we need to update the windows so just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to the windows update over here make sure the windows is up to date this is very important you have to update the windows once afterwards we just need to go back and try launch the game if that is not working try installing the microsoft uh, i mean uh, update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia and the amd as well the nvidia users have to go over here select every details over here like your product type product series product operating system language everything should be selected so i'm on windows 11 so i'm going for windows 11 here now go for start search and over here as you can see if you scroll down you will be able to find this so uh, just wait over here you will be able to find it so there is few more things what i have to make i have to select the respective configuration so once you select the respective configuration sorry i have not made the change in the windows uh, i'm getting it is on windows uh, i have to set this to windows 11 so once you go for windows 11 because my os is on windows 11 and right now as you can see the 531.42 is the driver version which is updated or released on September 21, 2023, which is one day back. So just download this, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here in the graphics, select every details over here and go for submit. And if you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you can download this one. Try installing the Microsoft Visual C++, which will be also working. So keep scrolling down and if you find the x64 based one you can download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one as well try and reinstalling and that will be working fine as well last one not last one two more step is there one i mean you can try uninstalling and reinstalling it back for this we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you have to make sure that you should not be installing it back on the same local disk you have to change the local disk to a new one if you uninstall the game and reinstalling it back over here it's not gonna work you have to uninstall the game and try installing it back on any other local disk last and the least one is all about we have to verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties Go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so what happens is this is going to take a little bit of time it will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are missing and if any files are corrupted and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so let us wait this to reach 100 percentage and i'll demonstrating you the knee the next steps
So once afterwards, try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.